All right, this time we're going to be introducing a fun all metal kit from the nice folks at the Metal Earth Company. And this time it's going to be, wait for it, the P-38 Lightning War Aircraft. Wonderful fun kit, had a lot of fun with it. And this is what the packaging looks like with all of the Metal Earth kits. They come in a flat cardboard envelope. It always amazes me that you're able to take these flat metal pieces and make them into 3D objects. Here's what the back of the packaging looks like. Gives you not only a little bit of history on this particular aircraft, but also some of the other kits that they offer. If you haven't tried one of these Metal Earth kits, you really should. They're so much fun. They don't use glue. They have an interesting pin and slot affair where you take the pin, put it in the holes, either push it over or give it a twist. Now you will need a bunch of tools for this. Notice that none of these tools are expensive. They're just a bunch of junk actually. And this is what the kits look like on the sheets of parts. Now there are so many parts that you have to keep track of what piece goes where. And remember that there are lefts and rights. You can't just put any piece together. And instructions, tons of instructions, pages and pages of instructions. And what you'll notice is, well, there's no words. There are very few words. Almost all of the directions are just pictures. Now, you will need some, mm, let's call it sight assistance. A lot of times these holes are right next to each other. All right, here we go. We're all set up. We're ready to go. We're going to get started on this model right now. Now, as you use parts, I like to take and mark them off on the registers so I know what has been used and what has not. It just really helps keeping track. Now when you're taking the parts off, never ever ever break them off. Always make sure to use a, either a sharp pair of nippers or you can get them with an X-Acto knife but it doesn't work as well. Now all those funny tools that you saw laying there, all those bits and pieces, that's what it's for right here is making round things out of flat things. And it really takes a bit of practice to do that. Now with all of these metal earth kits, what it is is you make one little piece, put it on, make another piece, put it on, and they start to grow. These things start to get bigger and bigger. And once in a while, oh no, I broke one of the pieces as I was trying to put it in. Ah, that's all right. A little CA glue will fix it up in no time. I don't usually use much glue. Some kits I don't use any, but once in a while you got to put a little bit. And here we go, we're putting on the outer wing on the one side and where we go from here well the other side we got to build the other side moving right along now we have both the left and right fuselage and make sure that you keep track of the parts because there are lefts and rights now the kit comes with all kinds of fun detail but it does not give you a pilot but I like a pilot in the aircraft that's flying around. So I found one, and here we started having another pile of parts ready to go. Happens, you know. It always amazes me how you can take these flat pieces and make them into these 3D shapes. And as you can see, I made a little tool to do this one. This is to make the front end of the middle nacelle. And of course, you've got to work them and work them and work them to get them to the shape that you want them to be. And here's what it looks like it comes out. Pretty cool, huh? Just amazes me how these pieces go together. Anyway, from there you just keep, like on the outer fuselage, just put one piece on after another, after another, after another, and you can see that the cockpit is starting to develop. Now I did have a little trouble putting the pilot and the seat and stuff in the fuselage, so take your time. And then of course the end of the nacelle goes in the back. Now if I had to do it again, I probably would put the pilot in after I started putting the wings on. I did have a bit of trouble putting the wings on this intersections, and I ended up actually using a little glue on it, but not too much. Now here are the power units, the engines, and i got to caution you that the propellers are on just barely to the cone, so be really careful about moving them around. Here we have another pile of parts being developed here. That's a fun thing. Now once again I had a little problem hooking the wings onto the outer nacelles and once again I used a little glue but don't tell anybody. Makes it fun. Alright it's time to put on the power units, the engines and make sure that everything's in correct shape. 
because they got to fit just right there. On these Metal Earth kits, oftentimes, like now, there's a left and a right. Make sure that you have them correct or else they won't fit right. Okay, here we go. We're putting in the landing gear. You can either have them up or down. With the tail assembly, we're almost done and you got to make sure everything is exactly square and straight or else it won't fit correctly. The very last thing you have to do is put the cowling on. Now the cowling's kind of tricky, so take your time and it'll come out really nice. So here you have it. The new Metal Earth P38 Lightning. What do you think? It actually came out pretty darn good. Looks just about like the picture on the packaging. And let's have a little look around and see what it looks like. Amazing detail. Remember that this all came from flat sheets of metal. Okay, it might not be as smooth as a plastic model might come out. But boy, was this ever fun. These were an amazing machine in real life. And the model came out every bit as amazing as the real one. Well, there you have it. Let's have a look at some of the other aircraft I built from Metal Earth. Give them a try. You'll have as much fun as I have.